Chapter 10, Television Star. In 1960, there were more than 50 million TV sets in America alone. Jacques had been successful with books and movies, but he wanted to inspire the world with the beauty of the oceans. Television was the way to go. In April of 1966, CBS aired a one-hour special on Con Shelf 3. Narrated by movie star Orson Welles, it reached millions. Soon after, rival network ABC offered Jacques $4.2 million to produce a 12-hour long television show. He jumped at the opportunity. After more than 15 years of constant use, the Calypso had seen a lot of wear and tear. Jacques set about renovating it. Space was made for two sea fleas. These were one-man submarines that could dive as deep as 1,000 feet to shoot from just the right angle. New scuba suits were bought. The undersea world of Jacques Cousteau aired four times a year for three years. It was later renewed for 24 additional episodes. The crew of the Calypso would be filming at sea for years. Philippe Cousteau joined the, the crew. His brother, Jean-Michael, made the arrangements for many international trips. In 1967, the Calypso set sail from Monaco. Hundreds of onlookers released confetti and balloons from the cliffs surrounding the harbor. The first episode, Sharks, premiered in 1968 to rave reviews. People were amazed to see one of Cousteau's, Cousteau's drivers riding a 60-foot whale shark. Over the years, the crew filmed sea otters in Alaska, manatees in Florida, and 20 million squid off the coast of California. They studied marine iguanas on the Galapagos Islands and adopted two fur seals in South Africa. They were named Cristobal and Pepito. Jacques and his crew searched for buried treasure in the Caribbean and for Incan gold in the depths of Lake Titaca on the border of Peru and Bolivia. The Six-Day War. In June of 1967, Israel and its Arab neighbors were at war. The fighting lasted for six days. By June 10th, Israel had captured the Sinai Peninsula from Egypt. Now, Israel controlled the east side of the Red Sea and Egypt controlled the west. While filming in the Red Sea, the Calypso was caught in the crossfire between Egypt and Israel. An Israeli fighter jet even fired on the ship by accident. The crew, sleeping below decks, was terrified. Over the next two months, Egyptian authorities boarded the Calypso multiple times to inspect it, making everyone anxious. The Calypso was not allowed to dock on Egyptian shores. Even worse, Egypt had sunk a number of ships to block access to the, the Suez Canal, which connected the Red Sea to the Mediterranean. The canal would not reopen until 1975. The Calypso was stuck. Finally, Jacques and the Calypso crew left the area by taking a different route, south and around the Horn of Africa. In 1979, Egypt and Israel signed a peace treaty, and Israel handed the Sinai Peninsula back to Egypt. The undersea world of Jacques Cousteau brought the beauty of the underwater world into American living rooms, and it was a hit. The Calypso crew was handsome and daring. Viewers loved their captain, They're Jacques going. Cousteau, with his heavy French They're accent going. and famous red They're wool cap. The show ran for eight years Mama, until 1976. Stop